Good day, my name is Dr. Pajane. I'm one of the few lecturers in the ECD department responsible for home language module. The presentation today focuses on teaching uh, home language you know, in foundation phase classrooms. Before I introduce how to teach home language in foundation phase classrooms, I would like to take a moment to explain uh, the language situation in South Africa. In many parts of the world, including South Africa, teachers are facing uh, ch new, uh, new challenges due to quality uh, of teaching due to quality, the challenges of teaching a uh, home language in South Africa. Therefore, uh, many teachers cannot cope in this situation as they lack knowledge and skills to deal with such classrooms context. Uh, without a high level uh, uh, of linguistic proficiency in the instructional language, teachers cannot adequately develop their learners' basic communicative skills or their cognitive ability in that language. Let us begin with, the, with outlining the important general aims of teaching home language in the foundation phase classroom. The task of the great R to three, the great R to three teacher is to help young learners to develop all necessary language skills, which is listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Also the correct home language use and structure uh, needed to be able to learn with ease and to be able to learn read, to read with understanding. The primary aim of this presentation is to equip the learners with a knowledge of the standard form of this of his or her home language enough to enable him or her when he or she has, has completed the phase. Uh, the aim is to learn and understand the standardized uh, form of the spoken home language, to speak the standardized form of his or her home language correctly with confidence, to read his or her home language with understanding, to write his or her home language with a reasonable degree of accuracy, to take pride of his or her own home language and appreciate its beauty. The presentation of, the how, to, of how to teach lesson plan is as follows. The teacher should read or tell her children simple stories containing considerable repetition, use tape record uh, for, for this purpose. The use of pictures, dramatization should add considerably, considerably to the meaningless of the story. The children should be allowed to participate by doing actions or joining in the repetitive parts of the story, be encouraged to retell parts of the story. And the practical application of the lesson plan. The learning area is Sizwana. The theme is the story about Tau Lele Hotlo, which is lion and mouse. The content is about the phonemic, uh, the phonemic awareness and phonics, which is Medumo in Sizwana. The great R will be uh, doing A, A, E, O, U. The great one will be doing the sound <coughs> The grade two will be doing the T and the T, the T, which is TH. The grade three will be doing T, T, and T. Uh, firstly, the prior knowledge, uh, you, you as a teacher must be able to link the prior knowledge and the new lo uh, lesson plan that will be presented to the learners. The prior knowledge which was done uh, the first, first phase, I mean first term, was the Kolobete Taro, which is the little three peaks. That was introduced uh, through a song that was sang, um, sang by the learners. That was Peba di Litaro, Peba di Litaro, Sedi Fofetin, Sedi Fofetin, Musadi Waloko, Adi Leleki, Sakati, Petella, Di Kaula Musi. It goes like that. That was for the term, the last month. Uh, for today, the teaching, the teaching aids were the, are the pictures of the animals. The introductory activity for the, re, the, the real lesson is a Sotswana song, and then it goes like this. Mary Onale Konyana Ya Boya Bobunte Mo Mary Ayanteng Ya Mulatela Me 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 that's the picture of the lamb, which is Konyana. 
and the introduction of the lesson, the learners will be able, will be told the story of the lion, Tau, and uh, the mouse, Lehoto, in detail. Uh, that will be the, the learner teacher, the classroom will be, uh, I mean the concentration will be on the learner teacher action. Learners will be given the opportunity to say the means of the animal, the names of the animals and imitate the sounds of both animals. Uh, the lesson, the main lesson is about mudumo, the sound tl. Learners will be able, will be taught the funic tl in detail, in lot, uh, with lot of variety movements on air, on the floor, on chart, in their workbooks, uh, also cutting and pasting the funic method, the funics. Uh, in conclusion, the teacher will be will stress the funic tl and the names of the animals, the lion, tau, and the mouse, lehoto, and other animals with the funic tl. For example, tlo, which is an elephant, muta, uh, which is a rabbit. The assessment of the, the lesson will be uh, divided, the learners will be divided into four groups. Group one will be given the sheet to write the names of the lions, Tau and the lion, Tau and Lehoto. Group two will be cutting the newspaper from the newspaper, the funic tl, and build the words and the names, Tau and the mouse. And the group three will retell the story and act out the story of Tau and uh, Lehoto. Uh, group four will draw the story uh, and mouse Lehoto and match the words and the pictures. Uh, the, learner, the outcome of the learners will be able to use the four language skills, which is listening, speaking, reading, and writing, and the correct use of home language structure. Uh, let us enjoy the reading of the story of the lion, Tau, and the mouse, Lerodo. A lion was sleeping in a forest. A mouse started to play on it. The lion was disturbed and arose from his sleep. It caught up with uh, the mouse angrily and tried to crush to, to, to crush it to death. Then the mouse played in the lion, prayed the lion to leave him off and assured that it would help him when it needed. The lion taught it, I mean laughed at it and let him off. One day the lion was caught in a, in a net spread by a, by a hunter. It roared and tried to escape but in vain. The mouse heard the lion's roaring and came there. It started cutting uh, the net with its teeth. The lion escaped and thanked the mouse. The moral of the story is everything has its own value. Uh, be thankful and do well to others. These are the pictures of the story. The lion and the mouse. Uh, the mouse and the lion also, I mean the lion and the mouse also. And the lion trapped in the net. Yes, and then uh, these are the oral activities that the, the, the learners will be doing. Uh, the teacher will ask the learners, what do food wild, wild animals eat? For, this, for instance, it is the eating habits. Which, will, which, which wild animals eat grass? Which wild animals eat, they eat grass? Which uh, wild animals eat, they eat meat? They, we call them the carnivores. And then uh, which wild animals eat leaves? We call them the, the, the happy voles, the giraffe and elephant. Which wild animals eat fruit and seeds, monkeys and baboons? Which wild animals sleep in the, I mean, in the felt? Lions, elephant, rabbits, mice and giraffe. Which wild animals sleep on trees? The, 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 the monkeys. Which animals, wild animals sleep in the, in the burrows and holes? The rabies and jackals. Which wild animals uh, sleep in the mountains? The baboons and the rock, and the rock rabbits and, and dasses. Uh, the camouflaging animals, uh, they themselves, pro they protect themselves. That like bark, the bark look like the grass in the felt. Snakes look like branches and leaves. Lions hide in tall, in tall grass. A tortoise look like a stone. Chameleon changes its color. Main lesson, which was about the, the mudumotl, learners will be given the sheets to write the names. Uh, this is the integration. In integration, we integrate within the learning areas, which is uh, literacy, numeracy, and life skills. This is the activity of the literacy, whereby the learners will play a guessing, a guessing game, and then uh, they'll be cutting and pasting the, the, the sound, and then the outcomes will use, I mean, the learners will, will, I mean, are supposed to use the four language skills, the listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And then again, the literacy activity, Words formation that begins with the word, with the sound tl, 
to and th. Uh, they will use this will to build up sentences or words, and then this again a, a, a chart, a, a worksheet for learners to build sentences about the the, the, the picture of crow, uh, twenty, uh, mutla, all the animals that uh, that will be given to them, and then uh, about the next activity they cut and paste, and then again is a picture description of tau. And then the next activity, they will draw the, 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 the elephant, which is tow. The second one, they will have to draw the, the, the lehoto. That's art. This is part of art. And then again, they'll draw mutla, which is a rabbit. And then the numeracy, the very same uh, phonics that I introduced, they'll write uh, t, the sound t, plus uh, the, the addition of t, and t, and then the addition, the subtraction of t and l, which is four t's plus two t's equals to six t's. And then again, four, six l's plus uh, zero l's equals to six. Again, the very same uh, uh, phonics method, uh, you write six t's and then you subtract, sign subtraction of four, and then uh, the rem I mean it remains two l's. Again, uh, the, 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 the number line method. You introduce the number line method using the very same sound. Uh, number line six minus six is zero on a, lumb, on a number line. Four, minus, four plus two is, is six on a number line. And then again, the in, uh, even numbers, odd num uh, the introduction of odd numbers, even numbers, and equals to numbers. Still using the T, the modumotl, and then, uh, and then the modumotl. So again, the learners will be dispersed to their different areas and sit down and write their, their, their activities in their workbook or on their charts. Thank you.